in describing the Herring River, the first thing that comes to my mind is that it's wild. You have to see it to understand just how special it is. It's almost hypnotizing to watch the wind blow, the marsh grass. Salt marshes are just gorgeous places to kayak or canoe through. They call them the nurseries of the ocean. Herring River is a 1,100-acre riverine salt marsh that developed about 2,000 years ago. Historically, it was incredibly productive and valuable until we made the ill-fated decision to dike it off back in the early 1900s. You can imagine that if you were to cut off the tides, you would get really radical changes in the ecology. Its most important role is to provide the linkage between salt water and fresh water. When you put something like a dike in between the two, you have just defeated its fundamental purpose for existence. Restricting tides in a wetland has major ecological consequences. It completely alters the, the ecology. It prevents fish from migrating. It causes the assemblage of plants and animals to change. Right now, it is a clogged and invasive species filled body of water. It was diked 100 years plus ago. That dramatically changed the parameters, the water quality, the marine life, the value of the wetlands entirely. It's deteriorating. It has very low oxygen. It's even tough for the herring that we do have to get up the river. It's kind of a mess. So we're looking to clean up that mess and restore the estuary to its prior beauty and grandeur and also doing great ecological benefit at, at the same time. So the dike itself, which is Crescent Dike Road, will be open from its existing 18 feet up to about 165 feet with control gates so that the tide can be managed and returned incrementally into the Herring River Basin. There'll also be uh, structures at the intersection of Mill Creek and the Herring River, as well as Poldyke Creek to allow control and to prevent damage to structures in those sub-basins. Poldyke Road, County Road, Bonbrook Road will be raised in sections so that they will not be flooded. It's got a lot of science behind it, and it's a very conservative approach. The Herring River Restoration Project is probably one of the most studied potential projects that I have ever encountered. When you see the level of professional scientists and naturalists and biologists, and the importance to the Gulf of Maine and feeding the cod, it's a no-brainer. The restoration is going to benefit everybody, it seems to me. We're going to have tremendous development of habitat, both salt marsh and freshwater marsh. The recovery of the fin fishery as water quality improves, the reduction in nuisance mosquito breeding. Enhanced habitat for birds. People will be able to boat in places where right now is, is shrubs and grasses. I really look forward to catching a bass in the river again. I used to do it. We'll have a lot more herring who can make it up to the spawning ponds. It'd be healthy economically and environmentally to have that dike open. We think the restoration of the river would help us because obviously the inundation of salt water back into our natural creeks and drainage systems would help us get rid of Phragmites. It has had a lot of citizen and stakeholder input. You have two local communities, Truro and Wellfleet, coming together and the state is actively involved. And then at the federal level you have active participation by the Cape Cod National Seashore and participation and support from Congressman Keating. People in Truro understand that this is the right thing to do for our fragile environment. It's the heart of the tourist attraction to this area. I would like us to be on the map for this project for the next 50, 60 to 75 years. We had a huge asset here that 110 years ago we compromised. It would be nice to have it back. Turn on the seawater and nature will fix it. However, we leave the planet is up to us. We're gonna either leave it better or worse. It never gets left the same. And I think it's up to all of us, individually and collectively, to try to see what we can do to leave it better.